Welcome to the Texas Goat Radio Show. I'm your host, Vittorius. This is part 20 of the 1743 live stream by Owen Benjamin. It's the same with, like, let's say girls used to go through, see, I don't know. I don't know if they used to go through puberty faster. I don't know. I've been really trying to research it, but I can't figure it out. So if anybody knows, let's say. I want to say it was on mainstream media. Well, it might not even been mainstream media. I know Alex Jones and other people. I want to say it was on the news at, at a certain point where studies were showing that children were going through puberty early, at earlier ages because of all of the chemicals that are in modern food and, and water and, and everything. A few years ago. A girl is set up with a good man, a 20-year-old, you know, guy who has his shit together, can provide. You know, and her other option is starving. But I can't figure it out. So if anybody knows, let's say a girl is set up with a good man, a 20-year-old, you know, guy who has his shit together, can provide. You know, and her other option is starvation or the poor house. They literally used to call something the poor house. Like an unwed woman by 20 was considered like a vagrant. You know, and a lot of people can't imagine that world because they have welfare and dildos and vibrators and booze and Netflix and debt. But back then, it's like you had a like you you needed to find a man to survive. You couldn't be on your own. You would die. There was no fiat currency. There was no Federal Reserve. There was no parasitic exploitation of the third world. None of it. So uh, starvation harder than they sell. Yeah. So it's like, did they go through puberty at like eight? I don't know. The answer is no. I, I think that it's a universal uh, fact that children years ago did not go through puberty at eight. But what they would do is they would be married off young. Like a, 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 someone would be like, okay, I will. The, the father of a daughter who was like nine would beg men. They would pay men. That's what it was called a dowry. They would literally pay men to marry their daughters so that they would take care of them. Is, is it not almost the historical fact that suitors used to give their potential father-in-law gifts as though they were purchasing the bride or some aspect of that? It just seems such, such convoluted horse hockey for what, whatever reason. I'm not too sure. Well, I think I know the motivation behind what he's saying. I hope it's not that. But it's just it, this is just a strange thing that he's trying to present. Oh, uh, corn is causing girls to develop as early as I know. I don't know, though. If you look at just the 80s, the video I just showed you, they looked more mature then. And I think that I think it's I think that right there is just it, it's like an illusion because we attribute looks like that because we saw those kids get older and they kind of held on to that type of look. And so just mentally, subconsciously, we just attribute that to an older look, if that makes any sense. Um, a lot of this stuff, hang on. I defended Sound of Freedom before I heard you break the spell. Now I'm worried I might have been gay for Jim Caviezel. Please accept my, my uh, payment. Yeah, if you're gay for Caviezel, you owe me a lot of fucking money. So uh, when I posted that about, this is what people thought on Twitter. This is the whole point of Twitter. It's not just bad. It's idea sonar. So I said... High schoolers looked way early, or older in the 80s. Why do you think people mature slower now? And this is what they all said. Puberty blockers in the water and fluoride. Uh, uh, low testosterone food. Uh, one retard said, I think it's the hair. No, it's, they literally had breasts. And it, no. All right. Uh, you play outside in the woods and the trees don't care about your safe spaces, unlike Nintendo. Also, no parents hovering over you. You need to be independent. Soy, infantilization, sedentary lifestyle, limited sunlight, vitamin D deficiency, bio water versus drinking from garden hose, blah, blah, blah. Uh, endocrine disruptors, food preservatives, technology. Um, any societies become far too accommodating towards the matter. Um, preservatives in the food. Low T and TikTok, soy. Okay, because if you look at my son, Walter, who's seven, he looks very mature and acts very mature for his age. Uh, he's obviously not even close to puberty right now, but he's tall. He's like muscular. All my kids are very thin. They don't have fat. They're very competent. They speak uh, like adults. They can farm, play 
uh, musical instruments, all that stuff. And I don't have any daughters, but imagine if you raise girls on the farm. So it's like they're taking care of children from the time they're five or six. They're, um, you know, spinning their own clothes. They're managing stuff. They're doing tons of housework, tons of laundry, tons of uh, kitchen stuff. By 11 or 12, they're fucking way more wife material than, than a- I think it needs to be said that maturity does not equal uh, age appropriate marriage. There's more to life than marriage and sex. Modern 35 year old drunk, you know? Uh, Walter looks like his mama. He does. I look more like uh, Freddie and. Uh, Freddie and Jack look a lot more like me. Charlie and Walter look more like their mom, but they're both like very, very tall, like me. Kids who grew up in the 80s, the kind of life where parents had to be reminded they had kids, right? All right, I'm gonna lie on the plane. I think it has to be nutritional electronics. I don't think it's electronics, because I have a lot of electronics. Like I have Wi-Fi, I have, uh, they watch TV sometimes. I have a computer, my wife and I both have cell phones. And my kids are like, they look like they're from the fucking 17th century. You know, so it's not that. I thought about that. He just said that his kids look like they were from the 1600s. I don't think it's. I don't think it's Wi-Fi. It might be screen time, because uh, they don't have a lot of screen time. But um, it's not. It's not like invisible shit in the air. It just isn't. I'm pretty suspicious of 5G being uh, exactly look at your hips. Fuck you, Borber. Borber, when you see me in person, you're going to be awe inspired <laughs> by my strength, my height. My, uh, my dominance. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, I do have some hips. I get it. I work out every day now, though, so whatever. It's just the way I'm supposed to look. Uh, central air makes people weak. That, there's an argument for that, Scarberry. I've thought about that. Like, my, my wife's family's here right now. I, that's why I definitely have to go. <laughs> and they camp all the time, and they love just being outside all the time. I got a lot of great ideas for Ursa Rio and Ursa Ozarks from camping with them yesterday. We didn't sleep over, but it's all about... Good bathrooms and level spots for camps and electricity and water. So we are really working on installing electricity. So actual camping grounds. <clears throat> Three years in the making for that revelation. At uh, Ursa Rio Solar, like a whole solar setup. We will be, uh, we got a whole crew of guys coming in to work soon. I, uh, I'm not going to be super specific about the details because of the trolls who simultaneously say it's a scam. But try and stop all the work that we're doing because it's not a scam. Okay. That's not true at all. Um, I think there's a health, health, healthy argument to be made that Owen Benjamin was the uh, wrench in the machine that stopped it from more work being done that first week of work a year ago. Really, really terrible fucking people, guys. So I'm just going to uh, – but the county, I think, is now not fucking with us anymore because – uh, at this point, it's just a lawsuit waiting to happen. It would just be harassment. So um, things are going well. As long as I don't rub it in people's faces and scare people, uh, it's all good. But it's Ursa Rio is going quite well. As long as he doesn't do what he what comes natural to him, Ursa Rio is going well. It still it still needs to be said that one of the motivations for all of these videos is the uh, the investment scam that is known as the Bertoria scam of 2020. All of this is built upon that, and uh, that's why I believe that attention needs to be uh, aimed at Owen Benjamin and his cult. Um, also, I believe that Owen Benjamin is a dangerous cult leader. Predatorial behavior that is documented. I want you guys to know that. What's their name so I can dox them? They're not worth it. They're all scum. They have nothing to lose. There's no... There's no What's their name so I can dox them is what a cult member just said to his cult leader, and he didn't say no. Oh, that's why battle our battle is not flesh and blood is so true, because the scum that do this shit don't even have anything to lose. And if you dox them, that just justifies more of their terrible behavior. Like, what does doxing them do? Like, what does it even do? They don't have anything to... Like, they, there's nothing they love. There's no... They're all broke. They're all disgusting. They have no one in their life that they care about. So, like, fighting them at their own game, you lose as soon as you start. Whenever he says certain things, whenever he says those things, those things shouldn't anger anybody, really. I mean, you can be angry that it's not true or whatever, but I don't think – because that his words right there mean nothing to me whatsoever because I know 
who I am and I know what uh, my life is. Now, whether he's talking about me or not, I mean, it's hard to uh, to ignore that th this channel has hundreds of videos that are just about Owen Benjamin. And so, uh, yeah. I do also think that this is a, a decent example of somebody who can't take responsibility for their own actions. And so, therefore, oh, and doesn't really have a, uh, an ability of self-reflection. And so, anybody who ever... Um, tries to hold him accountable is filthy scum. Uh, you have a pretty much airtight harassment and constitutional violation civil lawsuit. Yeah, which is why they, they don't even respond to me anymore. Because we had a violation two years ago. I got a lawyer. We sought to get it removed. They just stopped responding, which means like they don't want to be on record for any reason. And I'm actually not litigious. Like I'm not looking to make money on lawsuits or do any of that shit. Like despite my Patreon lawsuit wasn't to make money despite what the fucking troll said. It was because I felt cornered. I felt that they were crossing boundaries into policing off-site speech, which is un-American, and I felt like we had to fight back. It wasn't to get money. I don't like lawsuits. I do it when I... I don't know too much about the whole Patreon lawsuit. I know a little bit, but usually the rule of thumb whenever it comes to Owen Benjamin pretending as though, or at least presenting uh, certain scenarios as though he was trying to be... Uh, Try, trying to do something for a good reason normally is not the actual reason behind it. Have to. Cornered it or Rio, so I'm not going to sue the county. Because I don't, it's just not how I am. I don't want to, I only would sue to be made whole financially, and they haven't, I, like, I feel for them. I feel like they were bamboozled by trolls, and they're just trying to keep it together, and I'm not looking to make money from lawsuits. <laughs> so, um... Silence is consent when sending in a note. He's just looking to make money from kind-hearted people that uh, tend to be drawn to some form of universal truth or nugget of truth. Oh, yeah. I mean, if they started fucking with us again, I would feel cornered. I would Which I think this is a, a, another opportunity to remind people of his bait-and-switch tactics. The uh, signed comedy special DVD for 100 bucks ended up being just 60 seconds of a made-up song. Uh, the bait and switch of the Bertoria scam, the bait and switch of the Bertoria festival this year of the best comedian in the world returning for his his prime time special. To uh, I'm just going to give a, a, a funny speech. Feel like we'd have to sue them, and their behavior has been so unbelievably crazy that it would be a no brainer. Like I would have lawyer friends fighting over who could represent me, <laughs> because. We've been trying to get a response from them for years with major law, like a major um, lawyer. And because we didn't violate anything that they said we did. So if they want to leave us alone, because we're still not violating it. It is provable that he lied to the council or the city council or whatever that was, the board, about his intentions for Ursa Rio. It's provable. It's documented. From the time that he actually purchased that land... He still made certain comments that he said was about the other land. Anything. We're still not building permanent residence. We're still not doing anything that goes against their code. That's why I was against it. I'm not challenging the code of their of the county. I'm not challenging any of their laws. They illegally gave us a violation and could not justify it. And then they just stopped responding because they were wrong. And if they admitted they were wrong... It would be a, a very easy lawsuit, but I'm not going to sue them. I just want them to leave me the fuck alone. And so as long as they leave me alone, I don't care. But if they started harassing again, I would absolutely sue them. Best move for them is what they are doing and ignoring you so they don't admit liability. Yeah, it's smart. I don't want the county to pay out tax money to me. I swear to God, I'm not financially motivated. I could right now sue them for what they did. That kind of has the same connotation of, uh, I swear, I've never kissed, I've never even kissed a man and how they how they acted but that's that's gross i think there's an evil to that because i'm not really out money um and they didn't slander me it was the it was there's liability shield so it was that little pedo in the fucking the pedo acting guy in the uh wheelchair there i can't even remember his name like so they would write he would write the nasty shit online protected by the first amendment which is fine and so the county never made a statement about me that was incorrect to the best of my knowledge but they did violate me without without uh, any law around it.
but I didn't pay and they didn't follow up at all. And they just no longer talk to me, which is great. I pay my taxes and I've never sued anyone. It's just gross. It's not gross if you have to. Lawsuits aren't just bad. It just has to be real. Like imagine if a drunk driver plows into your gate and all your animals um, run off your land and they get hit by a bus. Sue them. Sue the guy for damages. Uh, That's fine. Like that's not gross at all. That's not evil. Let's say the county does an illegal search and seizure and shoots your dog. Pain and suffering for the family, blah, blah, blah. So let's say uh, the county stops me from having a Bertarian get together at my private land, despite the fact I'm not violating any things. So definitely pay me. You just violated my rights. But that's not necessarily accurate with that, because bear the bears, it's a cult, a dangerous cult. And so that's not protected under any of the amendments. A right to, uh, to a peaceful gathering. Now, I'm not saying that all of the bears, the current bears, are dangerous, but it is my opinion that the leader of the bears, who they call Daddy or Big Bear, is dangerous. Predatorial behavior. Um, not. <laughs> yeah. If they just issue a violation without any damages, <clears throat> uh, I'm not suing for that. That's. I just find court disgusting. It's better than violence. I used to think that too, Cucumber, until I act- This is the Texas Goat Radio Show. I'm your host, Pretorius. As always, till next time.